Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Blue. I'm Peachy. And we are Vintage Vixens and Vino. <laughs> Halloween edition. Woohoo! <laughs> Tonight we're going to thrill you with some tricks and some treats. Vintage Vixen style. Oh, did you see my little pet up here, Peachy? Looks like some people are. <laughs> <out. laughs> Have that vapor and it won't be the right kind. <laughs> that was a fixing trick. <laughs> Sorry. No. Well, anyway, we're going to make this one really super, super fun. We're going to talk about 10 tricks or treat. Sometimes they're both, just like some people I know. <laughs> <laughs> but as we get to be more vintage, um, it it's things that we experience maybe more. So we just thought we'd address it in a fun style. Okay. Halloween. Yes, style. yes. So the first thing we want to talk about is clipping the nails. That is definitely a, a trick. trick. That's, and it's such a trick when you get to be vintage because how many of us can't bend over and get to our toes as easy as we used to? And then some people's nails thicken and that makes it tough to clip. Definitely full, yeah, that too. Definitely full of tricks there. <laughs> the next one is singing in the shower. <laughs> I think that's a treat. I do too. Well, everyone sounds better in the shower, right? Yeah, especially when there's two. There's not a couple that sings in the shower together stays together. Okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> that could be a treat. <laughs> but it's certainly a trick if you, let's just say, you don't know the rules of the shower. But we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Snoring. That's, that's, that's such a That's a trick. trick. Well, you know, we're calling it a trick, but you know, the, the, the whole thing is, as we become more vintage, we all do it. We get extra flesh around in here somewhere and that extra stuff they call it skin and it just happens. So it's no treat, but it really is a trick, I guess. Well, okay, I have, I have this question for you. So say someone sleeps alone in their own place and there's nobody else to hear it. Do they really snore? Is that like if a tree falls in the woods, does it really make a sound? As long as the bear, you can get out before the bear comes in. Alrighty then. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I had, I, I had a, a, a rationale in my head, but I forgot. It's scary in there. Especially tonight. <laughs> Especially tonight. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> so talking in your sleep. That could kind of go either way, couldn't it? I think it could be a trick because you wait till he goes to sleep and you say, what's my name? Ah! But it would be a treat if you got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. He or she, depending. That's right. This isn't limited to just the ladies. It's also for the guys too. But yeah, we often talk in our sleeps, but we don't remember what we said. I just sometimes get reminded. I just hope I said the right thing. Right. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about taking a bath and not being interrupted by kids? I think that's a treat. Especially if, depending on who the kids are, somebody else's, of course, over the age of 45. <laughs> Six feet, five, eight. I was thinking like 10 or 12 and about four feet tall, but you know. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> Mom, Mom. <laughs> no, I'm talking about it's a treat if it's somebody else's kids who are over the age of, let's just say they're vintage. <laughs> so, certainly not your own kids. That's, that's, that's weird. <laughs> no judgment, but that's weird. <laughs> So the next item 
is getting up in the middle of the night to answer Mother Nature's call. <gasps> Vintage voila. It happens to us all. It happens not only to men, it also happens to us vixens. A lot of reasons for that. So don't be embarrassed. One of the most common reasons in men is an enlarged prostate that not only causes frequency of urination, but it also causes um, the inability to hold it. And by the way, that is referred to as, let me see, nocturia. Uh, That's it. And it happens to us all. So, and for, for us vixens, it happens for a number of reasons as well. The most common has to do with something hormonal, at least that's the lie they tell us. It's hormonal, menopause, um, and our pelvic floor. Pelvic floor and the muscles loosen. Boy, I tell you, those muscles that get you every time. Yeah. But that's what they tell us, and so don't feel bad about it, but that is definitely no treat. No, and, and if you're getting up frequently through the night and it's disrupting your sleep, um, that's when you should really talk to your doctor about it. Getting up once or maybe twice is not that big of a deal, but I know some people that get up three, four, five, six times a night, and that just isn't good for the nighttime or the daytime because it affects it all. It absolutely does, so that's true. All right. Another one of the things that I've been experiencing lately as I become more vintage is sitting down for long periods of time. I think that's a trick. Only because it takes me long periods of time to be able to stand up and walk after I do. Sometimes sitting, depending on what you're sitting on, can be... Oh, there you go again. Okay. She's slipping. <laughs> Reel her back in. Flatulence or the original vapors. <laughs> yeah, we said it. That's definitely a trick. Yeah, well, it's a trick for the person that's on the not on the receiving end, but it's a treat for the person letting go. <laughs> you know? Well, there are a lot of reasons for that, though, right? I mean, according to WebMD, which I don't take for all of the gospel, but this did make sense. Um, there are some reasons why. It's because as we age and get a little bit of patina on our nose and, and, and do vintage things, you know, we have less digestive juices and enzymes to help break down our food. And our digestive tract moves a little slower and so the food sits in there a little bit longer. And if something is sitting anywhere and breaking down, it just starts to kind of ferment. And that always creates gas, right? Vapors. <laughs> Vapors. So they have to come out somewhere. Just please try and be careful where they come out. And when. And in which company and in which situations. But I just want to backtrack just a second. You said something about what on your nose? Patina. Oh, I hate when getting patina on my nose. Well, what patina is, patina's kind of cool for what, antique what things and things that have aged well over time. Like the beautiful copper roof goes from the bright shiny orange to the beautiful turquoisey green patina as it gets more vintage. Oh, that's, that's what patina. patina. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. Okay, <laughs> we'll go with that. I'll pet you, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said by the nose and with you. Yeah, I know, anyway. I know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> can't take her anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I said her. Um, now, the other thing we're going to talk about, which happens to be, I believe, number nine, take, getting those extra steps in around the house. Getting extra steps in is a wonderful thing. 
The doctor doesn't know that you're not outside, you're not on a treadmill, and you're not at a gym. Does it make a difference where you get your steps? As yeah. long as you get them? They don't care. Okay. We, and I, we won't tell, but you said something to say. Yeah, about well, I, I find lately that I'm getting a lot of steps um, walking back and forth from one room into another room to get something. But by the time I get to the room that's the destination, I forget what I'm there for. So I go back out and a while later, later I have the idea I need to go get it. And I walk back in and I forget it before I get in there. I'm doing a lot of round trips in and out of the same room. You think that's gonna be a problem? Well, it depends on what's in the room waiting on you. Well, I guess if it was that exciting, I would forget for a good reason. I probably wouldn't go back out looking for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> so we're on number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Handyman. Mm. Definitely a treat. That's a treat. Are you sure? Well, I guess it could be a trick. Well, it's a treat if they know how to fix things around the man or woman. I had an aunt who was the best fix it person in the world. She was in the newspaper for a bar that she built in her basement and everything. She could she could fix anything. Really? Yeah. So I think that, you know, as people get a little bit more vintage maybe they've accumulated some knowledge and some experience and maybe they have a little bit more time so maybe having a handy person around would be good but it's a trick if that light switch that's on the wall that he or she said they fixed still has sparks coming out of it it's a trick if that engine is still on the floor of the garage that they said they were tinkering, tinkering with and they said they'd have it up in a week. That's a trick. That's a trick. Certainly And no And if the honeydew list just keeps getting longer and longer and nothing ever gets checked off of it, that's it's a, a trick. trick. But there's nothing like a good handyman, especially if he knows his way around the house and he knows what he's doing. That would definitely be a treat for me. I think I know a few handymen. Hmm. Like James Taylor. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, I, it's time for words of wisdom. Oh, she's she thought, ready. She thought that was scary too. <laughs> Well, can I go first? You sure can. My vintage words of wisdom are, when it comes to a handyman, hmm, if you have the right tools, you know what to do with them, home is always improved. Uh, I think that guy that had that show, Home Improvement, he had the right idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a good handyman is worth his weight in his tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> all righty then well my vintage word of wisdom is halloween is full of tricks and treats so keep all of your relationships fun playful and exciting by adding jokes and a little mischief along the way she has to be so serious oh no that's not serious that's fun now, well, okay, I just have a different way of expressing That's myself. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's about that time. It is. So who are we? Who am I? Vintage Vapor. I'm Peachy. And I'm Blue. And, and together we, we are, are the Vintage Vixens and Arvino. See you, See you next later. Time. Cheers.